Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the product a multi tunnel mode using a local binary pattern and random patch convolution for hyperspectral image classification. Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of the process. With the developed and top remote sensing technology, the application of hyperspectral image is being more and more widespread. The Accurate classification of ground features through hyperspectral images is an important research content and has the attached widespread attention. Many methods have achieved good classification result in the classification of hyperspectrals into one different type of regions. Hence, in this process, the classification method of hyperspectral images from the three stages. The first one is the deprocessing. The second one is the feature extraction and then the classification. By the combination of these three methods only, we just follow the process to achieve the better classification. For each step, we have using the different type of algorithms combined with together. Hence, this process shows the better classification than the other process. Hence, that was achieved by using the better performance. Now we are going to discuss about the overall working flow of the process. This is the overall working flow diagram of the process. At first, the hyperspectral image data set consists of the several hyperspectral images with the several bands. Take any one image from the data set. After taking the image from the data set, the pre-processing will be carried out. In this pre-processing step, we have considered the majorly three things. The first one is the image resize, then the second one is the band separation, then the quality assessment. First of all, we just move on to the band separation to separate the bands from the image. Actually, the hyperspectral image consists of the several bands. For example, when I take any one hyperspectral images, it may be consist of 50 bands, 100 bands like this. So, we have to separate the each and every bands separately. After separating the bands, we just go for the image resize for better aspect ratios. So here we resizing the row and column into an aspect ratio. After getting the image resized, the quality assessment is to detect the better quality. You can see this result. In this, the hyperspectral having the n number of frames. So among that, we have considering the sum quality frames here. After extracting this quality band, we move on to the feature extractions. So in this feature extraction, LBP, RP, NK, this is the algorithm to extract the features from the each bands. After extracting the features, we just move on to the classification. In this classification, we using the SVM classifier to classify the bands as well as the regions, land regions separately. Hence, there are three kinds of inputs we have to give up for the SVM that is the test feature, train feature and then the labels. So by using these features only, we just able to classify the type of lands. After getting the results as a land, the final stage is the performance. In this performance, we just calculating the performance like accuracy, sensitivity and specificity. Now we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure of the process. At first open the MATLAB 2015B and change the current directly. After that we just right click in the main underscore gui.em file and select the option run. Now the initial GUI was open in that several push buttons in the right side for the controlling axis and then the several axes in the left side for the Display purpose. At first click the button input image. After clicking the button input image, you can see the dataset named as the Indian Pines. After selecting the dataset, the corresponding bands will be displayed one by one in the axis 1 with the title input image. After processing the bands one by one, we just move on to the second step that is the pre-processing. In this pre-processing, 
the each and every branch is separated and then the labeled of the each and every regions is displayed here after that the second step of the reprocessing is the quality image hence the quality band is displayed here after that we just move on to the feature extraction so in this feature extraction the labeled images are in the unique label pixels that will be differentiated in this feature extraction to extract the features after that we just move on to the classification in this classification the another kind of features that is the pattern type of features is extracted that pattern features is displayed as an image in this axis after extracting the uh, pattern features the corresponding values will be shown in this table after that we just move on to the before that i just conclude one thing the histogram plot is to display the histogram values of the each and every pixels present in the image after that we move on to the performance hence the performance will shows the overall performance of the image hence the accuracy value is like this sensitivity value and then the specificity values those values are plotted like here in the graph finally one more thing is the area of the each and every regions will be shown here thanks for watching this video